Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Mmm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's being brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's Keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets. But we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him, and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more, and so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. 
Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Veteran contract? Yes, you heard correctly. In and out of Vardenfell in less than 48 Ooh, hours. Cocky. I give you three days well, before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. Your but who knows? I've been no, proven no, wrong I... before. When I first received the blessing of the wolf, my creator gave me a valuable Did she piece now? Of advice. Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available. To be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. The Rettering contract? Yes, you heard me. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate, a fighter. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. I've heard she pulled the old choose-your-victim gag with you. Ah, uh, I love that one. 
You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun. And we look out for each other, just like any family. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. New sister, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family? Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. So, is it true? Oh, you must mean my little adventure on the ship. It's the problem. What the severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. I am but a hopeful instrument. Sickness. Our dread father guides me. Therefore, failure is an impossibility. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Oh, it's smart to demand something up front. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Take a look. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Someone new? Perhaps someone... Looking for me to mix something up for them? Take a look. Can I get you something? Well met. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You are exactly what I was looking for! Yeah, I think you'll be just what I need! You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. I know, I know, wars to fight, dragons to confront, guild business to conduct, sheesh! Listen, when you're ready to do something useful, find me outside Haymai Shane in Falkreath.
but they got that secret magic. You can turn wood to gold. Yeah, wish I could turn wood to gold.
I tried to tell him that he wouldn't get past the traps. He wouldn't listen. It was a stupid plan. And now Regal is so mad she won't even let us cut him down from there. Aye, and she's added more traps now as well. A moment of silence for our fallen friend. Did you hear something?
My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay?
Let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Really? Power? Haven't you already killed enough of your foes using the more mundane means at your disposal? Swords, magic, etc. How uninspired. As much as I hate to say it, you're almost as powerful as I am right now. But that's just because half of my power resides in that muck barbus. Come to think of it, I know of a win-win situation for both of us. There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached. No messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. One of Clavicus's little chess. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. Clavicus gave him an axe. All right then. 
Get together later.
do here, something. 